We've all aimed to fulfill the progress of Condorcet's vision in science, technology, and society, hoping to transcend our humanity and become transhuman. But what does this progress entail? What does it mean to be human? Are you human? How do you know? Why are we human? What made us human? Why? What makes us human? We have in our fictions, described and conceived, hopes of transcending human limitations. From Blade Runner's replicants, Battlestar Galactica's Cylons, 2001 Space Odyssey's How, Her's Personal OS, Almost Human's Dorian, Hardware's Mark 13, Prometheus's David, The Moon's Gertie, Alien's Bishop, Metropolis's Maria, to the artificial intelligent life of Robocop, and iRobot to Terminator, THX 1138 and Logan's Run, among others. Science fiction has painted a world where cyborgs not only become our vessels and servants, peacefully coexisting among us, but oftentimes rebelling against their makers in a tale as old as time. When myth and technology collide, the blueprints for android life are laid, indistinguishably human and built from the ground up. The next stage in human evolution will be wrought not by a divine hand, but unremarkable men in white lab coats. Evolution is really messy. So all these people that want intelligent design need to look to the future, not to the past. We're defragging the genome by taking this messiness away and organizing genes by function in a logical way. We're trying to reorganize, redesign a cellular genome in a logical fashion for this future phase of evolution that we're now entering. Besides being perfect genetically, the pseudo-humans of our utopian future will be rapid prototyped from the groundwork, possessing superior infrastructures made with artificial bones and teeth, grown and harvested in labs. DARPA, Atlas, Raytheon, and others are developing various external bionic fixtures similar to those in Iron Man and Robocop. These cyborg fledglings will come equipped with a kind of electronic e-skin, equally responsive and nearly as thin as human skin. The next stage are the internal workings, starting with organs, brains, hearts, livers, ears, and the like will be 3D printed. We gave a human the kind of power that had previously only been found in a machine. Our replicants will have clearer sights of the future with advanced bionic eyes and a better head on its shoulders. Scientists are developing microchips and lab-grown neurons capable of learning like human brains. With the greater use of these innovations, will we lose our humanity along the way? Or have we already done so? How will we be able to differentiate ourselves from those we have created? The final deception comes when the bots, with seeming consciousness, extra human strength, and the likeness of man, finally pass off as human. Modern robotics are generating an AI capable of not only holding down jobs, playing, and creating games, serving as our companions, functional vessels, servants, and personal assistants, but also those capable of expressing emotions like lying, cheating, and bearing all vices common to man, mimicking us to an eerie semblance 
friend or foe. These machinated facsimiles may do a better job of being human than us. And now, with the push towards transhumanity, where we can upload our consciousness and memories to servers, we too can experience the same immortality. We are artificially created. And in doing so, we are generating an AI capable of self-awareness and evolution. Countries and organizations are already heralding their arrival with Google and its massive buyout of several robotic and AI companies like Boston Dynamics, DeepMind, and even Calico. In partnership with Kurzweil, advocate of the transhuman efforts through his singularity, which hopes to unite man and machine. All of this is simply an extension of the thought led by philosopher John Cyril. Korea has even proposed giving the new cyborgs a home, not unlike Westworld, but with RoboWorld. Maybe then, as with other remote AI, they can learn from a collective AI consciousness with RoboEarth in a movement all too reminiscent of a vision for the future inspired by the movie Her with Jarvis or Microsoft's Cortana or IBM's Watson or Emo Spark as our personal home console OS. What truly makes us different from them? Or will we, they, be indiscernible? How will they know if they've been created? How will you, or I, know?